right that thou may see so these pastors aren't trying to enable themselves to see nor trying to enable the people to see men to see what is really happening to see to have prudence so to speak right and these things aren't new men you have you have basically there has been um teachers aforetime who have taught for 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 money you understand that is their purpose they are always trying to to, to gain the word because so to speak the word right preaching the scriptures in fallacy because they are seeking to gain money and an example of this is but is in the book of acts chapter 8 right the book of acts chapter 8 verse 9 says what but there was a certain man called simon which before time in the same city used sorcery and bewitched the people of samaria giving out that himself was some great ma great one to whom they all gave heed from the least to the greatest saying this man is the great power of god and to him they had regard for because that of long time he had bewitched them with sorceries but when they believed philip preaching the things concerning the kingdom of god and the name of Shai, they were baptized both men and women then simon himself believed also and when he was baptized he continued with philip and wondered beholding the miracles and signs which were done right because what what simon was using is trickery to fool the people right to basically gain people to to heed unto his words and he was doing it also for money right but philip came forth and he was doing the true miracles of the heavenly father right so the scripture says then simon himself believed also and when he was baptized he continued with philip and wondered behold beholding the miracles and signs which were done now when the apostles which were at jerusalem heard that samaria had received the, the word of god they sent unto them peter and john who when they were come down prayed for them that they might receive the holy ghost for as yet he was falling upon none of them only they were baptized in the name of the lord Shai. then laid they their hands on them and they received the holy ghost and when simon saw that true lane on of the apostles and the holy ghost was given right so this man observed these miracles men and instead of appreciating that he is a part of the of the knowledge and basically truly following after the belief right this man gonna do something and the scripture will tell you what it says apostles hands the holy ghost was given he offered them money saying give me also this power that on whomsoever i lay hands he may receive the holy ghost but peter said unto him thy money perish with thee because thou hast taught that the gift of god may be purchased with money right because this man look for look for the use try to use the word and the gift of the of the of the, of the power of the heavenly father to gain money man that's why in the book of what in the book of um titus chapter 1 verse 11 say whose mouths must be stopped who subvert all houses teaching things which they are not for filthy lucas sake so that is what simon was trying to do man he was trying to basically purchase that the the gift of god by money because he wanted to gain filthy lucas sake and that for filthy lucas sake and that is what these pastors doing man i've noticed that some of these pastors actually watching the 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 elders and apostles of james and certain other israelite camps and they are using some of what we are saying in their in their doctrine man right because this word is going forth as a as a flood so they are trying to combat it but but to keep a hole on the minds of the people right but what is that going to happen man just like how peter said unto simon thy money perish with thee 
right? Because thou hast taught that the gift of God may be purchased with money. Thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter, for thy art is not right in the sight of God, right? Repent therefore of this thine wickedness, and pray God, if perhaps the thought of thine heart may be forgiven thee. For I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness and in the bond of iniquity. Right? So I'm in the bond of iniquity, man. He only had do it for money's sake. He only had do it because he want, he want um, luxuries. Right? The truth, the word in the book of Proverbs 23 verse 23 says, Buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. Now, what exactly is that talking about? Is that talking about that you should go out and take your physical money and go and buy, um, come and pray the prophets them say, yo, give me the truth? No. In the book of Job 28, verse 12, it says, But where shall wisdom be found? And where is the place of understanding? So it's asking your question, right? Because this is what we're supposed to be seeking for, right? We're supposed to be seeking for this spiritual understanding because that is actually um, power within itself, right? So the scripture is asking a question. Where shall wisdom be found and where is the place of understanding? Man knoweth not the price thereof, neither is it found in the land of the living, right? So the scripture is legit telling you that you know you can't buy the truth by money, Right? You cannot buy the truth by money. In the book of Romans, Romans chapter 12, verse, verse, verse 1, it says, I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of God, that he present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Alright? Your service is what is acceptable unto the heavenly father right and the heavenly father will be a scholar reward you with more knowledge and with more knowledge you will be a scholar make you abound in knowledge and wisdom and understanding right so back in job 28 verse 13 it says, man know it not the price thereof neither is it found in the land of the living the depth said is it not in me and the sea said is it not with me it cannot be forgotten cannot be gotten for gold neither shall silver be weighed for the price thereof i cannot be valid it cannot be valued with the gold of offer with the precious onyx or the sapphire the gold and the crystal cannot equal it and the exchange of it shall not be for jewels for the fine gold no mention no mention shall be made of coral of or of pearls for the price of wisdom is above rubies. The topaz of Ethiopia shall not equal it, neither shall it be valued with pure gold. Whence then cometh wisdom, or where is the price of understanding? Seeing it is hid from the eyes of all living, and kept close from the fowls of the ear. Destruction and death say, We have heard the fame thereof with our ears. God understand it the way thereof, and he know it the place thereof. So they have the scripture tell you in the book of um, Wisdom of Solomon that the, the gift of wisdom coming from him, right? And it's also wisdom to know who the gift of wisdom coming from, right? So he said, God understand it the way thereof, and he know it the price thereof. For he look it to the ends of the earth, and see it under the whole heaven, to make the weight for the winds, and he weighed the waters by measure, when he made a decree for the rain and a way for the lightning of the of thunder. Then did he see it and declared it. He prepared it, yea, and searched out it out. And unto man he said, Behold, the fear of the Lord, that that is wisdom. And to depart from evil is understanding. Right? So when you fear the Lord, man, and you depart from evil, and you basically give the Lord your reasonable sacrifice, that is wisdom, and that is how you shall basically gain wisdom from the Heavenly Father, right? And gain knowledge and understanding from the Heavenly Father. But these other pastors, they, don't, they are basically preaching 
fulfill to do because see you can them judge him for a reward and they are not for your turn they are not for the benefit right and well-being of the nation of israel which is the negroes latinos and native american indians right so with that hope that this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of israel i want to say kalalal yahawo boshem yoshai boshem kakodash don't want us to the el